who, who is Jeremiah Kion? Who is Martha Karua? Martha Karua, not even his village people listen to her. Like, like no one cares who, who, what Martha Karua is doing. In, in, the, in, the, pretext, in the pretext of these negotiations they're going to they're gonna get into, that doesn't you see, this is, is, this is, is, is not politics. Where she fits, is that not where she fits correctly now? Remove her from the polls now. Put her on the table. If you're looking for a deal... Masa Karua yeah. has always um, projected herself to be, to be an upright thinker and uh, a very, very good judge. Is, is, is one of the most sober minds we've had before the elections. I think they corrupted him in this, this new election. But he's always come out as a very sober thinker. And uh, Azimio, in the pretext of this conversation you're having now, yeah. doesn't care for anything good to come out of that conversation. They're not looking for something uh, for the citizens of Kenya or something. They are looking to bargain for their own selfish interests. And uh, Martha Karua would not, would not think in that line. Martha Karua would just go and say, the constitution this, the constitution that. Mata Karua would say the people are saying this and that and that and that. Mount Kenya people this and that and that and that. But Raila Odinga doesn't care for that. Raila Odinga cares for Nusumkate. Raila Odinga cares for for opening of the servers and what have you. He doesn't care for this all other issues. So in in, in in the mind of Raila Odinga, I don't think he would even consider if if, if at all considering someone else, yes. maybe Jeremiah Koi, Jeremiah Jeremiah Kioni because uh, Kioni is uh, apparently Kioni would say is useless. He has nothing else. He's, he's been locked out of politics. He's, he's just there to. He has no, no, no place to put his loyalty on except on Azimio to pass time and remain relevant and what have you. Maybe that would, would, would put him as, a, as an option, but not Mata Karua. Not 